In this video, we're gonna apply our SOCA-TOA, okay, our trig ratios, and find some missing side lengths, as I promised you uh, in the very beginning. Okay, so remember when you're finding missing side lengths, first look to see how many sides they identify for you. If they only give you one, you're gonna have to use your trigonometry. If they give you two, you can of course use your Pythagorean theorem as long as you have right triangles. Again, we are focusing on right triangle trigonometry right now. All right, so I've written across the top here, SOCA TOA. Hopefully you remember from the last video, this represents sine, which is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. Down below, I've drawn a right triangle I have identified one angle measure, I have one side length, and I have a missing side length. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the process of using trigonometry, using one of our ratios, to find the measure of X. Now if we look at this, before we dive into anything, first thing let's look and see what sides did they give me. Now if you remember, we talked about a thing called theta, which we use to represent a missing angle measure. In this case, they've identified the angle they want us to use as reference. So we don't need a theta, okay? So they've given us an angle measure. So basically what they're asking us to do is either find the sine of 72, or the cosine of 72, or the tangent of 72 degrees. So we need to, pick which trig ratio is going to fit for this situation. All right, so looking at this side right here, I know that this side right here is opposite my 90 degree angle, which means this must be my hypotenuse. Okay, so this side is my hypotenuse, which means that I'm either going to want to use my sine ratio or my cosine ratio. I don't want to use tangent because that's talking about just using opposite and adjacent sides. Hypotenuse doesn't even occur, so it's not going to do us any good to use tangent in this case. All right, let's look at our other side length. They give us the six, which is this side right here, and since it is part of and makes up or adjacent to the 72 degrees, I want to use the ratio that uses my adjacent side and my hypotenuse side, and that's gonna be cosine. All right, so that's usually the hardest part about doing trigonometry, is simply deciding do I use sine, cosine, or tangent. And again, if, if you're still a little weird about that, rewind this and watch it again. You want to identify which side links they give you and identify and their reference to the angle measure that they give you. And that's how you pick your ratio. So we're gonna use cosine. All right, so let's start filling this in. We're, we're gonna write an equation now. So we know we're using cosine. And again, remember it was cosine of theta. Well, they've given us an angle measure, which is 72. So we're doing the cosine of 72 degrees equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent side is six, my hypotenuse is x. So you can see here, I simply have an equation. Now what I wanna do is solve this equation and actually find the value of x. All right, so we're gonna use our algebra skills here. To get this x out of the denominator, I'm going to multiply by x. That gives me 6x over x, it eliminates my x's. What you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So I'm gonna multiply this side over here by x. So right now I have x times the cosine of 72 degrees equals six. Okay, so again, I wanna get x by, my, by itself. I'm gonna divide by the cosine of 72 degrees this is one value, so it stays together. And what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So now I have x equals 
six divided by the cosine of 72 degrees. Okay, so that doesn't do us a whole lot of good because I don't really know what that value is, so we're gonna use our calculator. All right, so we pull in the calculator here, turn it on. Before you do any calculations in trigonometry in your calculator, you need to do this next step. You need to go to mode, and what we have to do is change this to degrees. You see that third row there where it had radian highlighted? You always wanna change this over to degrees. Radian measures are another trig measurement. Uh, it has to do with what we call the unit circle, which you will study in depth in Math 3. Okay, but always change it to degrees so that it'll do the correct calculations for you. So once we've changed that mode, we're gonna quit. And now what you wanna do is find cosine. If you notice on your calculator, right above your parentheses, you've got sine, cosine, and tangent. And that's what we're working with here in our trigonometry. So, I'm trying to see how I can get this problem in the calculator. There we go, pretty close. All right, so we wanna type in six divided by, now you know me, I always tell you, make sure you put parentheses so that uh, you tell the calculator the correct thing to do. All right, cosine, and you notice how it gave you a second set of parentheses here? So we're gonna type in that 72 degrees, close both sets of parentheses, and press enter. You get 19.416, which means that our side X up here equals 19.4-ish. That's how you use your trig ratios to find missing side lengths, okay? So it's kind of a lengthy explanation. Go back there and rewatch it. I'm gonna do another problem. Let's say I have the triangle. Again, it has to be a right triangle. Here's 73 degrees. This side is six. This side is X. Okay, so again, identify which sides they give us. They give us an adjacent and they give us our hypotenuse. And it's always in reference to the angle measure that they give us. And so in this case, they've given us this angle, which is 73 degrees. X, side X over here is adjacent to that degree, or that angle measure, so we're using adjacent. And this is, of course, your hypotenuse because it is opposite your right angle. So we're gonna use adjacent over hypotenuse, which belongs to cosine again. Okay, so let's write our equation like we did before. Cosine, 73 degrees, equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, again, now we just work out our equation. Multiply by your denominator, multiply by six, so that eliminates that. And what you do to one side, you do to the other. Now in this case, we're left with six times the cosine of 73 degrees equals X. So this, we can just type right into our calculator since X is by itself. So let's pull our calculator back up here, clear it out from our last problem. And I'm gonna type in six parentheses. You see that? Cosine, 73 degrees close all my parentheses, and I get 1.75, which means the length of this side here is 1.75.